What's going on you guys? Local John 1812. It's Monday and we're at Arby's and I was driving by. My son wanted some Arby's. I was driving by Can't and see there we go. I saw the sign, the Arby sign and it had on there new prime rib cheesesteak limited time. So I actually go on their website. I actually don't see anything. I see the little fleet fit or filet. Um, oh, cheesesteak or steak sandwiches, but I don't see the new prime rib cheesesteak, so come over to our local one. They're still open, but they're closed on the inside, and they do have them. They do have them. They actually have a classic style prime rib cheesesteak, and they have a Korean barbecue prime rib cheesesteak, and that's what I'm gonna try. And I know it's eight something for the meal. I'm gonna have all that graphic pop up on the side here, uh, talking about it, but let me first get this ordered, and, uh, here we go, let's just order it. You guys can hang out while we order. Look, there they are. Yes, I wanna try the uh, new prime rib uh, cheesesteak. Give me the Korean barbecue, the meal. Uh, so uh, just give me a medium. Sure thing, what would you like to drink? Um, how about your uh, Powerade? Absolutely. Anything else I can get for you? Uh, that, that, you want anything? Mm -mm. That's it? Alright, that brings you to $9.93. Please pull around. Thank you. So the sandwich is $5.99 and the meal is $8.49. And after tax, mine was $9.93. $93. Now I got a so medium. $10. You can, well, that's a medium size, but you can get it small. So, alright guys, I'm going to pay for it. And then I'll be right back with the actual sandwich. Okay, money. guys, we got it. Right here, still pulling away. We just pulled away from the drive-thru. They dropped me fresh fries and everything. I'm, I'm happy about that. And, oh, we, there we go. And we have the new Korean barbecue prime rib cheesesteak sandwich. That's what we got. And I told you guys the price. I told you the graphic will be popped up on the side there. Comes in the standard box here that you would see their French dip sandwiches sandwiches <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way but comes in that and let's look at it oh wow smells that smells just like wow almost like a cheesesteak right look at that Ooh, it's so pretty look and then there is the Mm -hmm. Watch your fingers. I'm going to take oh. a picture. Yeah, take a picture of that. I'll move my hand. I'm glad I told you I was moving my hand. It's so pretty. Nice. Nicely done. They did a really good job putting this one together. Um, they easily do. But uh, whoever made this one did fantastic. So, the... so you're supposed to pick it up with the paper. Are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it looks like it's juicy. It does. It does have a little bit of a juice right there. And also, I want to show the inside a little bit more. So there's the prime rib. Boy, it's hot. <laughs> well, yeah, it's fresh. Yeah, there's the prime rib. There's some peppers there. And there's that the reddish-looking sauce there. That's the Korean barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. So there's Ooh, a good. Hold on. There's a good look at it. Oh, hold on. I want to bite into it. Will you be still for a second? I am. That's a pretty look. All right. All right. So you guys, you know the price, you know where I'm at, you know I got it in my hands. You've seen the inside, outside a little bit. Let's see what it tastes like. It's hot. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it's juicing. See, it's dripping. Mm -hmm. So make sure you keep the paper around it and stay over the box. Just so y'all know. I wouldn't wear white. <laughs> No pastels. The peppers give it a nice little kick, but they're not hot or anything. They're really good. Mm. Prime rib tastes great. 
and that Korean barbecue sauce. It's not spicy. Mmm. There's a little bit of a hint of like a little bit of a spice from the Korean barbecue. Just a little bit. But it's not like burning my mouth. No habanero type stuff or anything like that. It's kind of sweet and spicy sauce taste to it. I am glad I stopped him. Glad uh, little John. Say hi, little John. Hi. I'm glad little John got something. Oh from look, Arby's. Christmas presents. <laughs> I'm glad little John got something from <laughs> Who Arby's. Who are they for? Because I wouldn't have seen the uh, new Korean barbecue prime rib cheesesteak sandwich if we wouldn't have stopped. So. Thank you, Arby's, for doing a great sandwich. And the workers tonight were fantastic here in Evansville and Bur by the Burkhardt area. Fantastic, Ar fantastic Arby's. They do a great job. And I was really, I'm really enjoying this sandwich. So, if I had to give it a grade, an A for outstanding, A plus outstanding, or an F for failing, I'm going to give this an A plus. I'm coming back. I'm going to try the classic one as well. It's really good, guys. It's limited time. It's only at partic participating places right now. and It's do, not even on their website. It's, I didn't even see it on their website, but in some areas you may see it on their website. or you, I don't know. I don't know. No, maybe you wouldn't. In some areas you may see it on your own window, and you may have it, but not everywhere just yet. But when it does come, and it will, or if you're a traveling man, I heard you're a traveling man. If you are, definitely check it out and try it. So, there is the classic prime rib cheesesteak sandwich here at Arby's, but we did the Korean barbecue prime rib sandwich here at Arby's. It's getting an A. This prime Bless. rib <laughs> prime rib cheesesteak Korean barbecue is great. It's great. It's getting A+. Plus. So, guys, that's all I have for tonight, but I'll see you hopefully Friday. Until then, guys, uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Happy eating. Be safe. See you later. Follow my dad on Twitter at John G U K and don't forget to subscribe.